Hi guys, Francois here, and in this video, uh, I want to show you how we can actually build an API call within the Python script. So last video, I was showing you how we can, you know, create our first, we actually created our first API call to uh, the MIST system, and we did that via Postman, and I'm showing you, you know, what exactly, what type of information you need uh, to be able to make that call, to authenticate yourself, and, and, and so on. And we were able to retrieve the list of APs I have in my lab here. And uh, we did all of this using the PostMy application. This time around, I want to do the exact same thing using a Python script because uh, this will give you more flexibility, flexibility later on if you need to actually do some heavy work. Uh, you can actually make those calls in your script and you can have multiple calls one after the other in your script and you can actually you know, build um, uh, larger and more complex programs. All right, so in this video, what I'll do is I'll do one first script that will go and retrieve the list of uh, the APs I have in my lab. And then after that, I'll show you a second script where I actually can rename uh, the, uh, the one of my access points that doesn't have a name currently. And then this, the second script will actually rename that AP, and then we can validate that the AP has been renamed properly. All right, so if we go back to Postman, uh, this is what we did last time, API call, and uh, we specified the site ID, uh, and then we retrieved the list of devices, and here you can see this is the results. I get the JSON text, uh, structured data, and I can see that I have two access points, one AP43 that has a name, you know, same field AP03, and then I have an AP41 here that doesn't have a name, right? So let's go to um, my Atom here, and I'll show you the script that actually, you know, pretty much does the same thing, uh, but within one Python script. And I'll actually show you the output right away, uh, right now. So if I execute the, the script right now, it's called list APs. This will send the call, and this will, you know, retrieve the uh, results. Here, I'm just choosing to display as a name, the model and the MAC address. So you can see I have two APs, 143 and 141. One has this name, one has the other name. So the exact same results of what you saw in Postman, but this time around, right, I created my own script to do it. Uh, if we go back to the scripts, right, so here you'll see that um, I have defined a variable called org ID, right, right here, which I will note for, need for my API call. Same thing for site ID. Uh, I have my token here, which will be used to authenticate myself to the portal, so the or to the the MIST system, so they actually know who is sending the uh, the API call. Uh, don't use my token anyway; it won't work if you try. Um, and then here you have the URL for the uh, that you need to use to actually make your API call, uh, and then you can specify some headers. So it's the exact same way. As we did it in Postman, you can actually do it in your script. And if you remember, we specified the content type, which is going to be a JSON format. And then we specified the, the token for the authentication. And here I have the token text space. And then after that, I have that token that I'm going to be uh, using to authenticate myself. After that, I can actually create or build my, uh, my API call. And as you can see, I have, you know, zero, variable zero here, which is the MIST URL. So I'm going to take this guy here, right? And then I'll add um, sites, and I'll add the name of the site to so my site ID, and then I'm requesting for the devices that I have, you know, in this, uh, in this site, so in, in pretty much in my lab. Um, and then I can have, I can actually send my API call. So that's what I do here with request.get API URL with the headers, so with the token and, and the, 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 the content type. And then I would get the response in, in this variable response. And after that, I can validate that the response was positive. If the response was positive, I can actually you know, offload all this JSON format text that I had in, uh, in Postman here. I can you know, extract it into a Python dictionary, and when I ha once I have that Python dictionary, I can you know decide to display the data I need, right? So here you can see I'm displaying the name with the uh, the the device, and then the name variable, and the model and the Mac, right? If you're wondering where I'm getting this data from, I just you know I just you look at the output I got from 
Postman, and then here you can see all the different variables available to you. So I could, I could go and get the site ID, uh, the serial number, and so on. In my script, I'm just deciding, I'm just choosing to only display the name, model, and Mac. And that's all I'm doing. I'm doing a loop on all my devices, so when I execute the script, you can see it's looping on all my devising, devices, and it's giving me the name AP, uh, AP model and MAC address. All right? So now, what if I want to rename that AP? Because here I can see this AP41 is not renamed. So let me show you another script I wrote to actually you know, rename that AP and then send an API call that will go and rename that AP in uh, the MIST uh, system. So we'll, we'll uh, go over the script that I have right here, the change AP name. Then we will execute the script uh, to rename the AP. And then we'll go back to the MIST dashboard to see if you know, the AP is actually renamed properly, right? So uh, the script, this is uh, the script I have here, a couple of things here just to, I'm going to pretty much execute the script, specifying the MAC address of the uh, AP I want to rename, and then the new name. So you'll see when I execute the script, I'll actually put that as, you know, uh, arguments to the script. Uh, so here are just a couple of validations to make sure that I have the proper arguments. And then here I have the information to build my, your, my uh, API call, uh, same as before. And here you can see that I can have my, uh, the first thing I'm doing is pretty much retrieving the list of AP I have. So pretty much the same as what I did later. Uh, and then what I do is I do a, a loop and I'm looking for that specific AP that has the MAC address that I specify as an argument. So I'm looking for that AP that I want to actually rename. Once I have found that AP, so you can see here, I'm looking for that AP. Once I have found that AP, I'm pretty much renaming it with, you know, the new name that I have in an argument. So I'll, I'll just, you know, dump that new name into the name variable of that device. Uh, and then after that, I will just, um, you know, push the, the data back into the JSON. And then all I have to do is take that JSON that's updated with the new name and send it back to MIST. And to do that, I have to do an API call. So I can build my API call, but this time instead of being a get, it's actually uh, a put, right? So you can see that the request is dot put. Earlier to get the data, I used the dot get. Now it's a dot put. So I'm actually configuring the dashboard. And then I can, you know, send the data with the proper the proper URL, and you can see the URL I'm building here with the actual the actual new device uh, list. And I'm, I'm instead of you know specif specif specifying everything, I'm just modifying that specific device that I have modified. Right? It's more it's just a little bit more uh, optimized. And after that, once everything is okay, I just you know print out a, a message telling me everything is okay and then everything should be configured on the MIST dashboard. All right, so let's let's uh, try it out. Uh, so before that, we'll go to the MIST dashboard and I'll show you that. I'll just do a refresh, make sure everything is fine. You can see my, my APs here. I have this AP that's already renamed and I have this AP that's not renamed and the base, base the default behavior when you have an, a name AP in, in, uh, in MIST is it, they will just show you the MAC address. So this is what I have. So I go back to my script, go back to my terminal, and then here I will execute the uh, the script, right? So Python, and then uh, change AP name. So then now I have to, if I go back to my script, you'll see that I have to specify the MAC address first, right? The AP, uh, the MAC address of the API I want to modify. And the MAC address, how convenient, I have it right here. So I can copy this guy, paste it, and then I can specify the name. So I'm just going to call it some file. Uh, AP02, and then execute the script. Everything went well, it took under a second, and then now it's telling me that that specific AP just got renamed from nothing to Stemfire AP02. Now what I can do is I can actually rerun that previous script, the list AP, and then validate that everything got updated correctly, and here I can see that, up oh, now my AP41 has a name, right? So it, already looks good here. And if I go back to my dashboard and I do a little refresh here, I should see that that AP has a new name. All right, so that, 
that's pretty much it for, for today. I just wanted to show you that, you know, what we did uh, last time using the Postman application, you can actually do the exact same thing within a Python, Python script. And then, you know, I'll show you an example of what you can do later on to actually make it a little bit more uh, complex. If you think about the real world, you could have maybe you know, Excel sheet with all the MAC addresses and all the names. And then you can, you know, just, you do a loop on all these MAC addresses and then you rename them, you know, using the, the same API call, put call here. And you can actually rename all your APs once they're, you know, deployed. All right, so I hope this uh, video was useful. If you liked it, don't, uh, um, you know, don't uh, uh, hesitate to share it with, the, with some friends or colleagues. And I'll see you guys in the next one.